um, captioner, and we have a new program. You notice that for a while, for those of you who've been coming, we usually have two projectors. Thank you. But now we have the captioning. It'll either be at the bottom or the top, whatever works for me at the moment. <laughs> OK, so now I need you to, to go to the top again. So uh, Laura, who has been our captioner for quite some time. Oh, oh sh now I need the, the top again. OK. She lives in Riverside, and she has been coming here and another place on Monday locally for quite some time driving from Riverside. And I think it just got to be a little too much. This is Susie Galvin. I hope I said that correctly. And she is bringing a new type of service where we have the caption right on the screen. It's kind of like captions on your TV at home. So I hope you will find that convenient. I want to tell you we have a hearing loop in this room. There's a lot. Oh, Kyle, I'm so glad to see you. Did you, did you just pop in? <laughs> okay. And um, so if you've been coming to meetings, you know about the hearing loop. but if you haven't been coming to meetings, you may not know about a hearing loop. So how many people don't have any information about a hearing loop? Can I see your hands? One, two, three, okay. So, um, Anne, could you find, oh, let's see, find the audiologist form, hearing aid dispenser form, in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand. Do, do, the, do, do Rick's brochure. It's on the wall. OK, so we have about three people. So I'm going to give you a little information. We have more information on the information table. I'm going to play a very short video, and I hope the sound comes through in this new system. <laughs> that explains a little bit about what a hearing loop is. This is the sign that means a world of difference for people with hearing loss. That's because any facility that has this sign also has a hearing loop. Hearing loops are widely regarded as the most effective, easiest to use, and most trouble-free assistive listening technology available. While most people with hearing loss have hearing aids, they do little to help them hear clearly in group settings. A hearing loop, however, sends clear, pure sound from a sound system directly to the user's hearing aid without any distortion or background noise. Now, the vast majority of hearing aids, whether old or new, already have what is known as a T-coil or telecoil built in, which just needs to be activated by a hearing professional to use a hearing loop. For example, here's what a typical group presentation sounds like to someone using just a hearing aid. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're offering the following activities. And here's what it sounds like to a hearing aid user with the help of a hearing loop. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're offering the following activities. Unlike other assistive listening systems that require headsets, hearing loops are the only solution that uses the unique tuning to each person's individual pattern of hearing loss and doesn't require any additional equipment. And as you just heard for yourself, the difference is night and day. If you would like to have a listening device in this room, we're getting some ready for you. So if you're getting reverberation, if you're getting, um, if you'd like to have clearer sound, yes, we have headphones and a loop receiver. The popcorn is going. I hope you're enjoying the popcorn. OK, who would like to borrow a listening device? You'll be hearing through the loop if you, if you use it. 
You need hearing aids with a telecoil that's been programmed. No, not for, not for that, no. Not for the device. You'd like to try it? Even if you have hearing aids, you could use the um, headphones over your hearing aids. One more up front here. is on the top of your hearing aid. It's at the top. So you want the headphones to be on top. So you can kind of adjust it. It'll <coughs> like that. And then plug it into a radio, tape recorder, the, um, the mini jack in your TV, <laughs> if, you, if this is the way you like to listen. In any case, this is how you would use an assistive listening device if you didn't have telecoil. Okay. Okay. And I have sign-up sheets if you would like. Please indicate you must indicate what model phone you have. This is only for smartphones. If you have a flip phone, that's not it. It's not a smartphone. So, um, and I need to know whether you have an Apple. So if you have a, an, an, a picture of an Apple on the back of your phone, you have an, you have an iPhone. Everything else pretty much is Android. So indicate whether you have an Android or an iPhone. <coughs> this form explains the training class. It's a hearing accessibility class. Uh, Laguna Woods PC Club is your host. The instructors are California Telephone Access. And I'm the organizer. So, sign up, or pass it around. Okay, here's another one over here. So, if you have an iPhone or Android phone and would like to participate, the next, there's only one class between now and the end of the year, and that's going to be Wednesday, November the 28th, and it's an iPhone class. So, if you sign up for iPhone class, I'll be calling you and asking you if you would like that date. And, and it's going to be at um, 1 o'clock. It's free. No charge. Um, if you have questions after the um, program today, there is a green half sheet like this. It's up at the front desk. And it's a feedback form, so if you have questions, you want me to call you back about something, be happy to coach you about telephones, um, about TV, um, and any issues you may be having. So uh, use this little green form, and I will call you or email you back. Okay, we appreciate your donations. It helps pays the bill. Okay. I need, I need the top again, just for a moment. I first want to just mention briefly, so as long as we're talking about entertainment, that you're in the Laguna Woods Performing Arts Center. And there is a listening device that is available, and you can pick it up at the box office. And um, it's infrared. There's three times, three types of technology. You don't have to be a technology 
expert and you don't have to remember it. You just need to ask for a listening device. Now, if you have a telecoil, you don't need to use a headphone. <coughs> Big advantage. Instead, you will ask them to give you a neck loop. We're going to be talking about this in every venue that uh, we're going to talk about today. So this is a neck loop. You put it on. You plug it into your hearing receiver and turn it on and adjust the volume, then turn on your T-coils and your hearing aids. And you don't have to wear a nasty headphone. Isn't that nice? That's another advantage to a telecoil. So this is available in our Performing Arts Center right over here. Um, this is a picture right here of what the device looks like here in the Performing Arts Center. You can use a headphone, you can use a neck loop. This is what it looks like when you're using the headphone. This is what it looks like when you're using a neck loop. Pretty simple. Okay. In general, you want to look for a blue sign. I don't know if you can tell that's blue. There's signs come in a variety um, of ways, but this is typical here. So you've got, uh, this is for FM, this is for infrared, this is if there's an audio loop, and this is another one, audio loop. And this is a sign that is used here in the Performing Arts Center. So, and this is above every door and it going in, and it also is in the box office. Okay. Yeah. My first presenter today is Kyle Riley. I've got some surprises for him. He sent me, some, I asked him to send me some pictures of the theater, and so I did, so I incorporated them. And so what I think I'll do, if it's okay with you, I'll just flip it and you can explain what it is. Sure. It is. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tony. Thank you guys for having me today here. I'm going to try to talk slowly. Because Tony always says talk slower during the presentation. So, so again, my name is Kyle Riley. I'm from Sagerstrom Center for the Arts in Costa Mesa. Some of you have probably been there before, but maybe some of you haven't been there before. So we're located right across the street from South Coast Plaza. I mean, if you have been there. And we've been there since 1986. So this is our 32nd year there. And we present a lot of different types of shows, like Broadway shows, dance shows, jazz shows, symphonic shows, cabaret shows, concerts, comedians. So a lot of different types of programming. And Anne is telling me to slow down, so I will try to talk a little slower. <laughs> He won't mind. If he's talking too fast, give him the slow down sign, okay? I'll try to pay attention. Yeah, yeah, please do. <laughs> um, so we offer a lot of different ranges of accessibility services. Uh, we're really committed to making the arts accessible to all. So if you have a mobility issue, you have a hearing issue, you can't see very well, or say you have a sensory issue, we have shows for you. So we're really proud of that aspect, and we really strive to make our venue as accessible as possible. So before I go on, I'm gonna let you know that I do have a couple flyers that I brought with me today. And this first one that I'm holding up, it outlines all of our accessibility services from like wheelchair seating to where do I check out an assistive listening device to where do I park um, if I'm disabled or if I need help getting to my seat, this outlines all of our accessibility information. And then this other one, this other smaller white one, it outlines what are called our access shows. And our access shows are, are for our Broadway series, which is our most popular form of programming. And for these types of shows, we have open captioning, we have ASL interpretation or American Sign Language, 
interpretation. And we also have audio description, which I'll briefly touch on today too as well. So Broadway shows run for two weeks and those access shows are on the second Saturday matinee. So they're at 2 p.m. and it's easy to get to the theater. You know, I know a lot of people don't like to drive at nighttime, so it's nice to be able to drive to the theater when it's light outside and you can see what you're, where you're driving to. Um, so pick one of those up. Those are again on the back table. We, um, let's see, all right. So Tony has put up some pictures that I sent to her. Thank you, Tony. So the first one is a picture of our podium on the orchestra lobby of Sagersham Hall. So we have a sign over there that has the assistive listening devices sign. So that's the one that Tony just showed up on the screen in blue on her previous slide. But, um, and then we, we also offer uh, large print programs too. So we have a little sign off to the right that if you have visual impairments, you can pick up one of those large print programs. So this sign here, it states that we have the assistive listening devices available. We do ask that you leave behind like a driver's license or a credit card to check one out because they do cost a lot of money and we don't want people running off with these devices. Um, underneath that, it says we have induct induction neck loops available. And I know Tony was just talking about that. And I know a lot of you do use the neck loop and use hearing loop systems, which is great. So we have a system called an FM system. And it's a mobile system that is, has many different channels on the system, but it, it allows us to offer amplification for people who have hearing impairments. So I'm wearing one of our devices today, and it's this little blue device, and it's our assistive listening devices. Um, so thank you, Tony. So on the top left-hand corner is channel one, and we use that to amplify the show. So that's on a cer certain channel. On the bottom left, we have our channel twos, and we use that for audio description. And audio description is for someone who is visually impaired. So a lot of people, they grow up watching theater, they get macular degeneration or they get some kind of eye condition later in life and maybe they lose their sight or their sight becomes so impaired that they can't really see what's going on on stage. So for audio description, we have someone describe the show to them. They describe all the visual elements like their costumes, their facial expressions, what they look like, what their names are and so forth. Um, so it's for people who are visually impaired and again, that's called audio description. It is a live description. So we have a person that sits in our booth in the back of the theater. And again, they describe all the visual elements to someone who is visually impaired. So not a lot of people know about audio description. Some of you might be visually impaired. So I can talk more about that afterwards. If you wanna hunt me down, I'd be happy to explain more about that to you. And then on the top or the right hand side is a picture of the on off switch on the assistive listening device. So when we give you the device at our usher podium on the orchestra lobby, we turn it on for you. But at the intermission, if there's no feed to the device, it will turn off. So you do have to turn back on the device because it's just a battery saving feature on the assistive listening devices. All right. So we have a lot of different types of um, accommodations. So we have the earbuds available. I think there are a couple dollars to buy earbuds. You can use our headphones if you would like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then we have our induction neck loops. So um, with any of those, you can use your own induction neck loop. You can use your own earbuds. You can use your own headphones because our devices use a universal jack input. So it's just a three and a half millimeter stereo input. So if you have your own headphones, bring your own headphones. If you have your own earbuds, bring those with you and you can just plug those into our devices and enjoy the show um, that way. So the looping system is just like in the room, how the room is looped, except that you do need to wear one of these loops around your neck in, in place of the headphones. And if you have that T-coil on and your hearing aid, it'll play straight to your hearing aid. Well, you said the room was looped. It, it I said your room. Oh, my room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I misunderstood. That's okay. <laughs> I sure, so we... No, no, I want to hear what Tony said. 
Oh, so she was mentioning that she thought I said that our venue was looped, but I was saying that your room here is looped, so you don't even have to check out a device. You can just turn on your hearing aid or your T-coil, and that'll play straight to your hearing aid without wearing a device. But at our theater, you do need to check out a device and a loop, and then you can hear the performance using the loop. All right, so this has a picture of me plugging in my headphones into a device, so it's on the left-hand side. We'll go to the next picture. And then this has the volume wheel in the middle. So the volume wheel is very easy to use. You can turn it up or down, and just make sure it's at a comfor comfortable volume for you. So it does go up pretty loud, but some people, you know, you might need that extra amplification on your device or depending on your level of hearing loss. So is this an appropriate time for me to say something? Sure. You can say whatever you want, Tony. <laughs> I personally have found I love using the loop, but at the Cedarston, sometimes the loop is not loud enough. And put it in their device. And even when I max out the, the volume, I'm not the only one that's had this issue. So for me to get more gain, more sound, I have to put that loop around my ear like this. Now you're sitting in the dark, so don't worry about anybody laughing at you. <laughs> but you'll enjoy the program much better if you put the loop around your ear. This loop will be almost touching your telecoil, which just makes a stronger connection. I will say that I have talked to the Cedristrom about installing a hearing loop. It's a big job. You know, they got two levels, all this. So, and they need, uh, if, if they move forward with this idea, they, you know, need to budget for it and they are a nonprofit. So, anyway, I have sat in meetings. Um, Rick is here today with, uh, he's a loop installer. He installs all the loops here in Laguna Woods and uh, he would hopefully. He would be the one that installed at the Sedgestrom should they move forward on that. Okay. Thank you, Tony. So yeah, hopefully at some point we will have a looping system in our theater. But like Tony was saying, we are a nonprofit. So to do a lot of these big projects that cost thousands of dollars, it does take time to gather the money and make a project into it in our capital campaign program. So hopefully down the line, we will have some kind of looping system where you don't have to check out a device and you can just turn on your T-coil and enjoy the show. But for now, we have these FM system assistive listening devices for you guys to check out. So other than that, we also have accessibility seating in all of our venues. We have our transfer seats on the left-hand side. So it has a retractable armrest. So for those of you who know someone who uses a wheelchair, or a scooter, they can just slide into that seat from their mobile device. On the right hand side, we have a picture of when we remove seats for someone who uses a wheelchair. So if you buy tickets on the phone or at the box office or online, make sure you let us know what accommodations you need. Because if we don't know that you're using a wheelchair and you come in, um, we're not prepared to help you at that point. We can do our best to remove a chair, but if the show has already started, it can kind of be tricky at that point. So any accessible needs, let us know before the performance, if possible. Oh, All right, thank yeah. you. Uh, okay. So I'll talk about a few more things, and I'll let Tony uh, have back the microphone here. So also for uh, visually impaired, we also offer binoculars, and we also offer the large print programs in addition to the audio description that I talked about earlier. Um, people always ask me, what kind of discounts do you guys have? I can't afford to spend $120 on a Broadway show. So there's a couple discounts that I can kind of recommend to you guys. 
One is called Rush. So, I'm sorry. So while Tony's doing that, so how Rush works, it's for seniors 65 and over, and you have to call or either check our website on the day of the show. And it's generally $20 cash, one ticket per ID, and it starts an hour before the show begins. So for like a Broadway show, generally they start at 7.30 p.m. Rush starts at 6.30 p.m. at the box office in person. So a lot of seniors call us every day and they ask, hey, are you guys doing Rush tonight? So if you guys have any questions about that, give us a call, check our website. And we also have another program called Center Access, and that's also for seniors as well. And how Center Access works is there's a $10 fee for it, and it's more of like a donation. And this goes towards performances that offer discounts over that year. So it might be a Broadway show, or a dance show, or a cabaret show, and it's generally half priced off the mid-level tickets, which if a show is maybe like $60 for the mid-level, we might offer those at like $30 for a center access show discount. So that's a couple different ways you can get discounts. You can also come down to our box office in person and buy tickets because over the phone and online there are processing fees that you have to pay. But if you come down to our box office in person, you don't have to pay any processing fees as well. So as you can see, I have it on the website, hearingwellclub.com. Thank you. Thank you, and while I'm waiting, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna give away two tickets today to Hello Dolly on January 26th at 2 p.m. So for those of you doing the raffle today, hopefully uh, you guys pick out a winner. And whoever wins, I'll get your information. I will set you up those two tickets, and that is for our caption performance. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. So I'm gonna go through buying um, caption tickets on our website. Because I know a lot of people have trouble using websites. How do I buy caption tickets on our website? So I'm just gonna go over that with you. So as you can see on our website, we have our homepage. We have all these things at the top. One is engage and learn, get involved, see a show, plan your visit. So under see a show, if you hover over that word or that phrase, we have all these different things you can click on. And over here on the right-hand side, we have buy AD OC ASL SF tickets. So that stands for audio description, open captioning, ASL, and our sensory-friendly shows, which I, I won't go into today. So if you click on that, it will bring up our page here. And you can filter it by service. So if I only want to see open caption shows, I uncheck American Sign Language, I uncheck audio description, and I uncheck sensory friendly. And that's only gonna list the shows that are open caption. What is sensory okay, so sensory friendly, that's a great question, is a brand new programming that we started in 2015. And this is for people with sensory sensitivity. So they're sensitive to light, they're sensitive to sound. And so someone, for example, who has autism, they might not want to go to a theater show because they're really sensitive to light and sound. And for these shows, we turn down the lights and the sound, and plus they can do whatever they want in the theater during the show. Because for Broadway shows, you have to be really quiet in the theater, you can't be moving around. But for these shows, the kids, they can run around the theater, they can kick their chair, they can scream, they can shout, and they can do whatever they want. So that's called sensory friendly programming. And I can talk more about that if you're have any more questions after this. So once you're on the open caption page, you'll click on whatever show you wanna see. So if I wanted to see Hello Dolly, for example, on January 26th, you'll click on this Buy Tickets button, and that'll send you to the page to buy open caption tickets. And then these tickets are in the front of Orchestra. So you can see where the price is up here, 39 to 109. So we have to offer all different price ranges within that section 
per ADA law because you have to have a, a basically a number of seats for every price zone that you're offering in the feeder for that accessibility service. So if I click on the front there with that price zone, it's gonna bring up our seating map and it's kind of hard to see on our website which seats are available. So what I like to do is I like to click on this little plus sign over here and I'll click on it a bunch and then I'll take my cursor and I will hold down the left click and I will drag this up a little bit. And if I do that, on the right hand side, it's gonna show me where those tickets are located. And they're all white dots. So all the ones in black are not open caption tickets. So if I hover over these ones in J, it's gonna say these tickets are only $39. And I know it's kinda hard to see in the back there, but it says open caption, $39 seats, Orkshra, J seat 57. So if I click on that, it's gonna bring up a pop-up that says seats in this zone are reserved for individuals requiring the accessible features of this area. By clicking yes, I am stating basically that I need the features of the seat. And then it has an open window down here. So if you need captions, you're just gonna type in there, I need captions. And then you'll press down here, yes, at that point. And then from there, you just go in, you reserve your tickets, you put in your credit card information or your gift certificate, and then you basically submit your order from there. So it's really easy to do, and you can do it 24 hours a day on our website. Captioning is probably the most popular service that we provide. Uh, people really enjoy the captions. People that aren't even hearing impaired like the captions because some of our shows have accents. Sometimes it's hard to understand song lyrics. So captions are really beneficial to everyone, not just people who are hearing impaired. Um, so that kind of concludes my presentation. Did you guys have any questions? Yes, where are the captions displayed? So she's asking, where are the captions displayed? So our captions are displayed in the front of orchestra on the left-hand side near our door one. So it's a little off to the left-hand side of the stage. We put it on a, about a three-foot tripod and it's a four foot long LED screen that faces that section in the front of orchestra. Any other questions? So she's asking about uh, Madame Butterfly, and she's asking if it's the new production or the old production. And to be honest, I don't know. So I, <laughs> I will uh, try to find out for you, but that show is in our concert hall. So we actually are resident companies, which are like the Pacific Symphony, the Philharmonic, the Pacific Chorale. They, uh, they actually present and produce all those shows. So what I can do is I can reach out to them and ask him, is this a new production, or an old production, and then I can get back to you. I'd be happy to. Any other questions? The Nutcracker show does not have captioning, but there's no dialogue in that show. So we don't offer captioning for the dance shows. Question over here? Are you able to use channel one and channel two together? you would have to check out two devices. So she was asking, can I use a channel one, which amplifies the show, and can I use a channel two, which is the audio description? So you can do that, but you do need to check out two devices. And that's not a problem. You can do that. You can wear one hearing, you know, bud in one ear and one in the other, and you could do audio description and amplification if you'd like to do that. Okay, any, any we need questions? to kind of move on. Okay. I appreciate you guys' this time. If you have any questions, I'm gonna hang out afterwards, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I need the top. I wanna talk a little bit about, um, about the theater movie theaters. There is a website called captionfish.com and you should be able to use this to find a movie theater that has accommodations for your hearing loss. Today I'm looking at this and I, I can see that 
They don't have very many movies here, and I know there are more movies, for example, at the Edwards Aliso Viejo Stadium that offer Sony glasses, which I'm gonna talk to you about in just a moment, and descriptive, descriptive video. And boy, this, what I'm gonna show you next is not gonna be, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What did I do? Yeah, there's a lot more going on there, but. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna find it this way. I'm gonna go back to my website. I'm gonna show you a little video. I'm very disappointed that we don't have sound, but the pictures are pretty interesting. Most likely, you've never seen glasses like these before. Regal Entertainment Group Theaters are leading the way with the Sony Entertainment Access System to discreetly deliver closed captions and descriptive audio to individuals. It's not visible or audible to other guests, so everyone can enjoy the movies together. Here's how it works. Specially designed lightweight glasses are available for Regal's deaf and hard of hearing guests to privately view closed caption text on both 2D and 3D movies. This gives you a glimpse of how the subtitles are projected clearly onto the lenses of these Sony glasses. Truly cutting-edge technology you think is in the future, but it's available now. Sony has it all synchronized with Regal's digital projector systems through a wireless receiver. Headphones and neck loops can also plug into the receiver to increase volume for assistive listening. And for blind or low vision guests, you can switch the receiver to an additional audio channel with descriptive audio tracks describing the action on the screen. Drawing near the train's brakes produce sparks as they grip the iron tracks. The Sony equipment is available at guest services or from your theater manager at Regal, United Artists, and Edwards Theaters. As long as the movie maker provides caption information and or descriptive audio, Regal can offer this service for any show. Look for the note, Accessibility Devices Available, when choosing a show on Regal's website, regmovies.com. And then I'll take my cursor, and I will hold down the left click, and I will drag this up a little bit. And if I do that, on the right-hand side, it's going to show me where those tickets are located and they're all white dots. So all the ones in black are not open caption tickets. So if I hover over these ones in J, it's gonna say these tickets are only $39. And I know it's kinda hard to see in the back there, but it says open caption, $39 seats, Orkshra, J seat 57. So if I click on that, it's gonna bring up a pop-up that says seats in this zone are reserved for individuals requiring the accessible features of this area. By clicking yes, I am stating basically that I need the features of the seat. And then it has an open window down here. So if you need captions, you're just gonna type in there, I need captions. And then you'll press down here, yes, at that point. And then from there, you just go in, you reserve your tickets, you put in your credit card information or your gift certificate, and then you basically submit your order from there. So it's really easy to do and you can do it 24 hours a day on our website. Captioning is probably the most popular service that we provide. Uh, people really enjoy the captions. People that aren't even hearing impaired like the captions because some of our shows have accents. Sometimes it's hard to understand song lyrics. So captions are really beneficial to everyone, not just people who are hearing impaired. Um, so that kind of concludes my presentation. Did you guys have any questions? So she's asking, where are the captions displayed? So our captions are displayed in the front of orchestra on the left-hand side near our door one. So it's a little off to the left-hand side of the stage. We put it on a, about a three-foot tripod, and it's a four-foot long LED screen that faces that section in the front of orchestra. Any other questions?
So she's asking about uh, Madame Butterfly, and she's asking if it's the new production or the old production. And to be honest, I don't know. So I, <laughs> I will uh, try to find out for you, but that show is in our concert hall. So we actually are resident companies, which are like the Pacific Symphony, the Philharmonic, the Pacific Chorale. They, uh, they actually present and produce all those shows. So what I can do is I can reach out to them and ask them, is this a new production or an old production? And then I can get back to you. I'd be happy to. Any other questions? The Nutcracker show does not have captioning. But there's no dialogue in that show. So we don't offer captioning for the dance shows. Question over here? Are you able to use channel one and channel two together? You would have to check out two devices. So she was asking, can I use a channel one, which amplifies the show, and can I use a channel two, which is the audio description? So you can do that, but you do need to check out two devices. And that's not a problem. You can do that. You can wear one hearing, you know, bud in one ear and one in the other. And you could do audio description and amplification if you'd like to do that. Okay, any, any we need questions? to kind of move on. Okay. I appreciate you guys' this time. If you have any questions, I'm going to hang out afterwards. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I need the top. I want to talk a little bit about um, about the theater, movie theaters. There is a website called captionfish.com, and you should be able to use this to find a movie theater that has accommodations for your hearing loss. Today, I'm looking at this, and I I can see that. They don't have very many movies here, and I know there are more movies, for example, at the Edwards Aliso Viejo Stadium that offer Sony glasses, which I'm gonna talk to you about in just a moment, and descriptive, descriptive video. And boy, this, what I'm gonna show you next is not gonna be, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What did I do? Yeah, there's a lot more going on there, but. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find it this way. I'm gonna go back to my website. I'm gonna show you a little video. I'm very disappointed that we don't have sound. But the pictures are pretty interesting. So there is something called Sony. Enjoy the show. Most likely, you've never seen glasses like these before. Regal Entertainment Group Theaters are leading the way with the Sony Entertainment Access System to discreetly deliver closed captions and descriptive audio to individuals. It's not visible or audible to other guests, so everyone can enjoy the movies together. Here's how it works. Specially designed lightweight glasses are available for Regal's deaf and hard of hearing guests to privately view closed caption text on both 2D and 3D movies. This gives you a glimpse of how the subtitles are projected clearly onto the lenses of these Sony glasses. Truly cutting edge technology you think is in the future, but it's available now. Sony has it all synchronized with Regal's digital projector systems through a wireless receiver. Headphones and neck loops can also plug into the receiver to increase volume for assistive listening. And for blind or low vision guests, you can switch the receiver to an additional audio channel with descriptive audio tracks describing the action on the screen. Drawing near the train's brakes produce sparks as they grip the iron tracks. The Sony equipment is available at guest services or from your theater manager at Regal, United Artists, and Edwards Theaters. As long as the movie maker provides caption information and or descriptive audio, Regal can offer this service for any show. Look for the note Accessibility Devices Available when choosing a show on Regal's website, regmovies.com.
So um, we will have two tickets for the Regal, Edward, um, Elisa Viejo. Um, this is what the front looks like. If you've been there, you'll recognize that. This is a picture of the inside lobby and their concession stand. This is, explains what closed caption is, what open caption is, and what descriptive video is. But I think we've pretty much covered that. Here's a picture of that. And next, I have a surprise for a friend. So, <laughs> this, is, this is my friend Marilyn. She's in the audience. I don't want to point her out. And that's me. We both went to a movie together, and we took pictures of us wearing the glasses. I have another picture. That's me, and I'm with my granddaughter. It, it was a, we had a lot of fun. Okay, so... There's a new deal going on with all movie theaters these days, and that is you have the opportunity to purchase your tickets online and pick a seat. But if you're not comfortable doing that, they still sell tickets at the box office. Okay? But it just might be easier. You can just go whiz right by the box office and um, when you print out your tickets online. And some people, you know, have their email on their smartphone, and they can just show their smartphone, and it gets scanned. Any questions about to borrow the glasses? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, there. Yes. Um, I thought I okay. I did have it on here. I need need to make this bigger. Uh, let me see if I can put, nope. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, I just made that way too large. I actually have the prices here. Okay, adults are fourteen seventy, children is eleven seventy, and seniors are eleven seventy. Say it again. Can I look at? No, I can't. I'm not on. I'm not on the website now. I'm just on my PowerPoint. I'm sorry, I can't bring that any. Bring that a little bit larger here, so you can see the prices. It's really kind of. Okay. I didn't know that. Thank you, Joyce. Okay, moving right along. I want to introduce you to Dee Dee Irwin. Maybe we'll have the. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, Dee Dee from Laguna Playhouse. And I have some pictures to show of yours, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dee Dee. I'm with Laguna Playhouse. I'm the marketing director. Um, thank you guys for having me. This is my first time here. I'm going to talk slower. Slower. I'm nervous. OK. I'm Dee Dee. I'm with the marketing, uh, the marketing director at Laguna Playhouse. This is my first time here, so I'm nervous. So I'm excited to be here, so thank you for having me. Um, how many people here have been to the Laguna Playhouse? Excellent, great. Um, <laughs> in Laguna Beach? Well, now you have to come and visit us. Well, for those um, of you that um, no, we are on our 98th season. 
making us one of the longest continuously running theaters in um, California. We offer a seven show uh, season subscription. We have a robust youth theater program that offers classes and shows dedicated for um, young audiences. And we have a number of family friendly um, um, special events and also special events that last either one day or can last a couple of weeks. Look at this picture because it's all changing right now. <laughs> Six, 606 Laguna Canyon Road. Oh, it's right here. Um, so I am excited to announce that we received a grant from the um, Theater Development Fund that allows us to offer open caption performances. And we were able to do it for all our um, season subscription shows this year. So um, our open caption is similar to what, um, what they're doing at Sagerstrom. We um, have our seats held. You can only buy open caption seats through us through the box office for the phone. Um, we don't allow them online at this point. And um, on the back table, there is a flyer that lists the shows that open caption are available for and what days, um, what day each show is. And similarly, we're doing Saturday matinees at two o'clock. <laughs> he looked to really freak me out on my very first day here, huh? <laughs> Parking. Um, we'll talk about parking after. Um, we also have um, a number of the similar assisted living, uh, assisted listening system technologies from Listen Technologies, um, which um, look like this. Um, you can bring your own headphones or um, rent one from ours. There's no charge to rent. They're available at the bar. Um, and we do have the induction loops as well. Um, so that, we got a grant from the city of Laguna Beach for some much needed updates. Our building is celebrating its 50th birthday this year. Um, so if you pop by, you will see there are months, uh, there are um, construction fencing up all around and I'd personally like to thank you all for having your meeting today because they were jackhammering right outside my office <laughs> on my way here, so thank you. <laughs> um, as part of the upgrades, we are um, installing an ADA compliant entrance ramp and we will have two um, handicap accessible parking spaces now. It's Laguna Beach. Um, and I know um, something else was mentioned um, in the previous um, discussion about seating. We have accessible seating. Um, one of the upgrades we made in the theater is that we removed the back row of, um, of our seats and have put in um, very nice banquet chairs. So that can accommodate a number of different needs. Um, wheelchairs, um, if, you, if you just wanna sit in the banquet chairs, if you don't wanna walk down the stairs, all of that accommodates by that row. I should tell you guys that we are 407 seats. So we're a little bitty place. Um, and that's my favorite row in the entire theater. So I've included, or I brought um, a flyer that shows some of the other shows. It includes our subscription shows, but it also has some of the other special events that we have going on. Um, there's also a flyer that I included that I brought back announcing a new show, um, Forever Motown, which is gonna be here for, I believe it's four days. Um, so there's information about that on the back table. And 
I am really excited to announce, um, you guys are hearing this first, that we are bringing the hit production of Blues in the Night, which was critically acclaimed when it ran in LA. We're bringing it here to um, Laguna. It's phenomenal. It features 27 amazing numbers by like Bessie Smith and Duke Ellington. It um, was a huge hit when it ran in LA and um, we're putting it in our subscription series. So it will be open captioned. Um, this was such new news that it fits in the to be announced slot. So it's not even on our website yet. Um, it will be probably in the next week or two, but it's blues in the night. It's gonna be fantastic. February 20th to March 17th, and the open caption performance is Saturday, March 16th at 2 o'clock. Do you guys have any questions? What about pricing? Uh, pricing, um, they've scaled the house so that um, the pricing changes. The center is more and it gets um, less expensive as you go out. Um, we've sort of changed it so that you don't have the least expensive seats in the balcony like they used to be. There are some now at the or downstairs at the orchestra. Yeah, I'm going to mention something. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to uh, their group sales representative about the possibility of having group sales, having us go and see Driving Miss Daisy in January. And it would be a captioned performance. How many people would be interested? It's got Michael Leonard in it from the Walton. So uh, what I would like to do is offer, as soon as I get all the pricing and everything, then, then we can talk about it, but offer with transportation and without transportation. So with transportation, I would be getting a 20 seat van and, uh, and you would pay a little extra for the ticket for transportation from Laguna Woods here. Uh, we would leave from Clubhouse 3 parking right here, and we would go down, and it would bring you back afterwards. So, and then you could uh, provide your own transportation, and that would be a different um, price, different option. So I'm still working on that. I need to get a hold of the van company. We've used this van before when we we went to the health tech health hearing tech expo last year in Torrance and we had a really great time so we're going to use the same van service if we can get it for that performance for the open caption performance of driving this daisy um to your point about parking we agree with you that we could do better with parking we're limited with what the what we can do with the city so Feel free to write the city in. <laughs> Any other questions? Thanks for having me, you guys. Thank you. And so she's also offering two complimentary tickets. I have and four. is there anybody? Uh, you have four. I have four. Oh, I didn't know in the Laguna Playhouse, you know, you, you've got two chances. So. Um, and the way we do our tickets is that there are vouchers, um, so you can go to an open caption performance, but if you can't make an open caption performance, you can go to one of the other performances. You can just um, call. There's um, information on the bottom of the gift certificate. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, this is our last venue. Uh, this is Laguna Niguel. Um, this is really an interesting place. I hadn't been there before, but I visited there. And um, we're gonna have two tickets, uh, complimentary tickets from the Regency Theater. And you'll have a chance. Is there anybody that hasn't gotten raffle tickets that wants to get raffle tickets? This one back there, this one up here. So maybe Matthew can come around. Okay, 
So he can do that while I'm talking about the Regency. So this is what the front of the Regency looks like. I've never seen it with no cars. <laughs> they have a beer and wine bar. So if you want to have like a date time and have a, a cocktail, a beer or a wine before the performance, there you go. They also have a menu. Uh, they have boneless wings, quesadilla, Caesar salad, Greek salad, and of course you saw that there was seating, nice seating, so you can eat there. So how many people have been to the Regency? Okay, wow, I'm, you're way ahead of me, so you know about this stuff, okay. So this gentleman here is the manager of the theater. His name is Daniel Spratt, and he's holding in his hand a captioning device. And he's actually holding it here too, but it, the picture didn't turn out very good. This captioning device sits in the cup holder. Sometimes it sits in <laughs> So this is, this is a gentleman who is, has a device in the cup holder and he's reading the captions or has the opportunity to read the captions. This is not the exact same device, but I was trying to find something in the theater. I have another picture. So it kind of looks like that. So it goes in the cup holder, it's on a snake, and you adjust it to your height and your preference, and uh, it's very interesting. So this is how they prov provide caption performances. There's a little LED screen that reads the captions right through there. Not every single movie has this available. So you have to call, and you have to call. There is, it's not on the website. I tried, and I even wrote to them and said, mm -mm, you need to, for, per movie, you need to indicate, but you have to call. So, so this is your last chance to buy tickets, a dollar each or six for five dollars. And, uh, and you heard, we've got a real premium over here. We've got uh, two people are gonna be lucky winners of two tickets for Laguna Playhouse. They have senior day at that region. I'm sorry? They have senior day at oh, the yes. region. Yeah, okay, I thought I had that over there. Oh, listing devices are also available. You have to ask at the consumer, uh, at the customer service desk. You may bring your own headphones, earbuds, or a neck loop. I don't know if they have neck loops. I know they have assisted devices with headphones. And there it is, 6.50 on Wednesday for a matinee. And special popcorn and um, soda for 425. That's kind of a nice deal. I, the Regal didn't offer that. And here's the ticket pricing. So a child or senior, this is um, not on the senior day, obviously, is uh, 950, 61 and older. Matinee is 1050. That's nice that they have a matinee price. Um, the special senior day is 650, general admissions 1250. So uh, student and military, f I don't know what Flashback Tuesday is. So classic films on Tuesday night, that seems interesting. So, go back? To ticket pricing? Okay. We've done these. We've done these programs before, but we're really a little more in depth with detail. Right, Kyle? Yes, a little bit more detail. Okay. So, as soon as we finish with the raffle tickets, Purchasing, we will have our drawing. Rick, would you come up here and, and help me pick the winners? No. Yes, please, come on up. 
While we're waiting for that, I want to tell you that uh, Rick has put in a bid. Uh, Robert, are you, Robert Hikes, are you here? Okay, so you'll be happy to know that uh, the Recreation Department has is willing to put a loop in Dining Room One. <laughs> dining Room One. So he needs. You've got your bid in. You've got your. We're working on it. Working on it. Okay, so it's going to happen soon, and. And Rick will be um, installing that loop in dining room one. Yay. I went to a meeting there, and uh, Brian Gunner is the recreation manager. And he, I went to support him and to listen to him talk. And I was sitting about three rows back. I couldn't understand a word he was saying. The reverberation in that room with the portable equipment, it just was awful. So about 20 minutes in, I said, you know, I, I don't want to be rude, but I can't understand a word. I'm not getting enough. So I got up and left. And then I sent him an email, and I said, you know, Brian, I've, I talk to you all the time about putting hearing loops in. I think it's time to put one in dining room one. You probably saw me leave. That's because I couldn't hear you. So. Uh, a couple of weeks passed, and he, and, he, and he said, please contact your loop guy and tell him to send in um, a bid, and um, we'll try to move forward on that. So, yay! Okay, we're almost done. Okay, so we have a hearing loop in the boardroom. We have one in the PC club. Uh, in the learning center, so I really, you know, there's so many of you that could benef benefit from taking classes, learn how to control your email, uh, learn about your computer. Uh, some people like computer maintenance, that's an option. Learn a little bit about Windows 10, how to get around, and it's a, they have a hearing loop in there, so uh, you'll be able to hear. Yes. Another loop that was just put in is the art room. Clubhouse one, the art room. How many people go to meetings there? Yeah, so you'd be able to just turn on your T-coil. And if, if they're used, there is one situation that you need to be aware of. Um, if somebody is using equipment that is not in the room, not configured in the room, for example, you go to Clubhouse Five, and they invite a uh, karaoke singer, and he brings all of his own equipment. That equipment does not get hooked up to the loop. So unfortunately, there's not too much we can do about that. I've been talking to Rick about maybe creating an outlet so that their equipment can plug into the loop. So, but that's. That's something we need to work out with the recreation department, too. Okay, so do, have we collected everything? Are you ready to, okay, bring up the tickets. They're here? Oh, they're here, okay. In your TV room. So, that's something you. That's up. It's off too. <laughs> so Rick installs home loops, like in your TV. So if you have, uh, would really like to use the hearing loop for your TV, you can do that. Okay. So I'm gonna. Whoops. Wait a minute.
All right, ticket. Number, what is this for? Regency. Regency of Laguna Niguel. 829-579. Somebody must have bought it. It's in here. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> we'll, we'll read it one more time. 579. There it is. There we are. Wait a minute. Tickets. You're welcome. All right. Okay, now, now we're going to do the Laguna Playhouse. One, one ticket this time. One ticket. Okay. One ticket. Last three numbers. Five one nine. Anybody have five one nine? There we are, a winner! Yay! There we go. Let me have that. There we are. All right. Now we're going to do the Sedgestrom, and then we'll go back to the Laguna Playhouse. Here we go. Okay. One ticket. Last three numbers, 520. Five. Really? You got it? <laughs> That's no fair. Okay, so it looks like these are batteries are dead here. So now we're going to go to the Regal. That's the Edwards Elisa Viejo. Okay. Is yours in there? No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ticket number 406. 406. Uh-oh. Our captioner has it. Yes. Oh, Susie, you won. Yay. Yes. Bonus today. All right. So now we're going to go back to... Um, Laguna Playhouse. Laguna Playhouse. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to the bottom this time. Oop. One ticket. Put that back. No, that is one. Okay, ticket number 525, Laguna Playhouse. 525. There he is. Yay. Yes. Did I do the. I did the. Right, Kyle's going to talk to you just as soon as we break up. Now, who did I, who got the Regal tickets? Did we do that? Susie. Susie. Okay. Okay. Good. So I, we'll get together. So, that's it. Thank you, Rick. And uh, thank you, Matthew, for um, handling the um, selling of the tickets. Appreciate that. I really appreciate my volunteers, Elaine making coffee, Daniel does anything I want in, the, in just a moment's notice, thank you. Um, Anne Mundell Noel, our audiences, and Lisa, and Natalie, and Daniel's raising his hand. There's more popcorn back here. No more popcorn, there's just, oh, there's more popcorn, okay. Okay, so the next meeting is December the 11th. Give back the headsets. Yes, if you borrowed a device, we need to collect that. 
So our December meeting is going to be reducing stress for people with hearing loss during the holidays. There's a lot of issues, family issues, can't hear, and we're going to talk about how to reduce the stress and some tips for that. So hope to see you in December, December the 11th, same time. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And Lisa and Natalie and Daniel's raising his hand. There's more popcorn back here. No more popcorn. There's just, oh, there's more popcorn. Okay. Okay, so the next meeting is December the 11th. Give back the headsets. Yes, if you borrowed a device, we need to collect that. So our December meeting is going to be reducing stress for people with hearing loss during the holidays. There's a lot of issues, family issues, can't hear, and we're going to talk about how to reduce the stress and some tips for that. So hope to see you in December, December the 11th. Same time. Thank you for coming.